what's going on guess what day it is tuesday you know there's a tuesday night tournament been on my home lake for as long as i can ever remember <clears throat> it's like the first best tournament i ever saw i was out there fishing this lake when i was like i don't know 10 years old with my dad and i, I saw blast off they came down the lake you know like 20 boats screaming going fast as they could go that was my first ever time seeing a real bass tournament take place and from then on i've been absolutely addicted to bass tournaments i love to bass fish y'all see me go fishing all the time fun fishing the thing about fun fishing is i like to catch them a certain way i like to power fish whenever i'm fun fishing but tournaments are i mean that's what i absolutely love my number one passion in this world is a bass fishing tournament so let's get everything rigged up and go fish a tuesday night derby on my home pond i mean there might be 10 boats there might be 20 you never know but there used to be 40 or 50. let's get everything ready we got a ton of rain it's gonna be muddy i'm gonna show y'all what i'm rigging up all right we have everything rigged now that i think we're gonna need for tonight it is about let me look right here let's see about 310 right now so the tournament starts at five o'clock goes from five o'clock till eight o'clock central time and i'm gonna show you what we got rigged up right now there's something so soothing about putting on you know new line new jigs you know i put on some a couple brand new untamed tackle punisher swim jigs and there there's something so cool about watching a brand new bait come together put a trailer on everything i mean it's very very relaxing to me so i'll show you what i got rigged up. obviously gotta have the frog probably won't throw him too much got a black and blue untamed tackle jig flipping rod cinco that is a trick worm big swim bait a black and blue Punisher swim jig, a white Punisher swim jig, and a white chatterbait. So that's everything we've got. All right, just got out here on the lake. We're going to check the water color in a couple places. Maybe catch a couple, but, you know, just pretty much going to check the water color, see exactly what I can and can't fish during this tournament. Got me one on it. Not exactly what I was looking for, but on a jungle hook and that Punisher straight through the nose, never could have came off. But it's a little keeper though. by the day not a keeper that's a good one there we go just gotta do what I like doing I guess got one I'm torn out. Ten minutes, we were from zero to three. God, I lost him. Dang it. Dang it. So I spooked his fry, and that's what I was pitched this up to do, was pitch in there and catch that little fry guarder. Dang gum it.
gosh, no. Dad, no. Got him. That didn't work. Oh man, I've had the bikes to blow this thing out. Gosh almighty. Well, like a lot of y'all, I was hoping we didn't have to pull no more hoodies out this year, but guess what? Cold front came through. Anyways, I just forgot to do an outro for this video. Basically, I want to do a little bit of a recap. I made pretty decent decisions in this tournament you just watched problem is it's three hour tournament i was fishing it by myself and i only caught four fish had two really nice ones ended up having four for around seven and a half eight pounds i think 10 pounds won the tournament i lost that fry garter pound and a quarter had a four and a half pounder or so bite the swim jig then another four and a half pounder bite the swim jig that just didn't really get it as good so i've had two big bites didn't make it happen though fishing by myself it's you can't really lose any when you're fishing by yourself against you know pairs of teams that are really really good on the lakes that we're fishing so anyways the lake was extremely muddy extremely like i'm talking about so muddy you couldn't hit your fish on like 90 percent of the lake made the lake fish extremely small but that's how it goes sometimes we just didn't make it happen three hours is not long enough for me to make my adjustments that i need to make but we have plenty of excuses so that's all that matters if you like that video leave a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button we're getting good news Everything's going to get back kicked up and rolling pretty soon. So hit that subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss anything. I will see y'all in the next video.